Elliot Aronson was born on January 9, 1932 in Chelsea, Massachusetts. That makes him 86 years old today. Even though Elliot was bullied as a child for being Jewish, he still believed that everyone's life is based on luck, opportunity, intuition, and talent. After high school, he started to study economics at Brandeis University on a work-study scholarship, but eventually switched to psychology due to a lecture taught by Abraham Maslow, who eventually became a huge influence in his life. Elliot then earned his master's degree in psychology at Westland University and his PhD at Stanford University. His mentor there was Lee Han Fessinger, an experimental social psychologist. Elliot started teaching at Harvard University, University of Minnesota, Texas, and California, Santa Cruz. He was also included on the list of the most influential psychologists in the 20th century that was published in the Review of General Psychology. Elliot won a number of awards, both academic and scientific, such as one from the American Psychological Association, Society of Experimental Social Psychology, and the Gordon Alport Prize, who had a famous quote, People who are aware of and ashamed of their prejudices are well on the road to eliminating them, and of course, many more of words. He published a number of books, research articles, and textbooks on social psychology and used cognitive dissonance to cite his works. Elliot also focused his research on many society principles, such as racial prejudice, water shortage, and AIDS. Elliot was diagnosed with muscular degeneration in 2003, and shortly after that, he lost all of his central vision. He did, however, get a guide dog to help him through this very tough time and use this hardship as a way to keep doing research and publishing his findings. Elliot's major contributions included the Jigsaw Classroom, which was an experiment done to create interdependence within students when working in groups in the classroom. Cooperation in the classroom, the jigsaw method, made a huge impact on the education community due to Elliot's ideas for kids to work as a group without being prejudiced or violent towards one another. The picture shown shows you all the ways used in order to make the jigsaw classroom technique work and to benefit all students in a well-rounded environment. Elliot and one of his research partners did a study on using the jigsaw method in the classroom and the graph shows in how well the students liked the discussion and their group members or disliked it. He also proposed the gain-loss theory of attractions and an example of this is when you compliments are more meaningful when they come from someone who's usually very critical of you. This is one of the graphs I found when researching about the gain-loss theory. Unfortunately, it was very difficult to find his articles and books online that didn't require me to purchase them, therefore I couldn't get exact quotes. Elliot did publish a paper on the Pratt Fall Effect, which discussed the attractiveness tends to increase or decrease after someone makes a mistake and it also can depend on someone's perceived competence. Elliot's most current work was on his textbook, The Social Animal. This is now the 12th edition to this book because he is constantly doing more research in order to keep up with society and how we interact with one another. Mistakes Were Made is a nonfiction book written by Elliot intended to be read by other social psychologists and help them with future research. This book talks about cognitive dissonance, confirmation bias, and other psychological theories. One quote I did find by Elliot was, Human beings aren't rational animals. We're rationalizing animals who want to appear reasonable to ourselves. To me, this quote means that we rationalize with one another in society in order to perceive ourselves as reasonable beings, even though we may just be agreeing to settle an argument with something that we don't agree with. Elliot's books and writings had a lot of reviews, such as helping people clarify self-understanding and how this book helps people to stay inspired and open-minded. In conclusion, Elliot faced some struggles throughout his childhood and his career, but he never let them affect him. Elliot used these struggles to make bigger and better strides in his career in order to better himself and show others that you can overcome the challenges thrown at you.